Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating a Father's Day card using a Distress Oxide background and brand new products from the My Favorite Things May 2022 release. So everything on my card from the stamps and dies to the standalone dies comes from the May release. This is a Simon Says Stamp Masking stencil that I'm going to place over a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of smooth white cardstock to start. I want to ink up my panel, spritz it with water, and allow it to air dry while I work on other parts of the card. We are going to come back to this. I'm going to leave the stencil in place so that we can mask off our background stamp that we're using from the May My Favorite Things release. I'm using Distress Oxide inks and Gathered Twigs and Ground Espresso. I'm going around the entire perimeter of the masking stencil. I am using the largest masking stencil from this set. And I want to make sure that I keep the darker part of the ink around the edge. We are going to ink the entire thing. I just kind of like the look of the inside to be a little bit lighter than the edges. I keep separate blending brushes for my Distress Oxide inks. These are waffle flower blending brushes. It really doesn't matter which ones you use. For me, this was just an easy way to differentiate between the ones I use for my dye inks and the ones I use for Distress Oxide. And that is what I use. That way I don't have to worry about cleaning my brushes in, be in between. Once I have the gathered twigs, I'm going to go ahead and ink up the edges with ground espresso. This is going to be slightly darker. It's going to deepen and darken the edges of my panel. I will pull some of that dark into towards the center as well, but we have a nice base color of gathered twigs. Now I did go with my brown background here. Um, I wanted to create more of a masculine feeling card. This card is going to be for my dad. When I received the work in progress stamp from the My Favorite Things release, and it's this little girl with her tool belt and her electric drill, it just completely spoke to me for a Father's Day card. Um, Real quick, I am going to spritz my background with water from a Distress Sprayer. My Distress Sprayer did not work. It's a good thing I voice over because I think I said seriously in a not very happy voice when it just dropped those droplets and didn't give me good splatter. So I kind of sprayed it um, over a trash can actually to get it working better and spritzed it again. That's going to give us some beautiful oxidation. Next, I am going to stamp that work in progress image that I started talking about using Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink, and we're going to color this in with Copic, uh, Copic markers. So the reason, uh, back to my story, that I was really excited about this image is my dad is super handy. He always has been. Um, he used to build you know, shelves and furniture and all kinds of things. He can fix all kinds of things. Uh, we always used to, after he retired, he, he he's a retired farmer. He's been retired for quite a few years. Uh, but he, we always used to joke that he was a handyman. I mean, anytime I needed something done, he would do it. And, but what is awesome is I benefited from his knowledge. And I have always, always <laughs> been the one to hang shelves, hang pictures, I put together all of my Ikea furniture in my office myself. Uh, my, I did teach my youngest son. I taught my oldest son how to hang blinds. I hung all the blinds in my new house uh, when I bought it here about three years ago. So I just really credit my dad with teaching me how to do those kinds of things for myself. And I'm so, so grateful. And I'm trying to pass along some of those skills to my kids. My daughter is not super receptive. <laughs> um, she, what, she has me come hang things up for her. <laughs> and I try to get her to learn, but she's not terribly interested. Um, but my boys, I've really been you know, teaching them. My oldest really wants to know. My youngest doesn't care, but I'm just teaching them and I think it's like some good skills and I always feel like it's just passing on some along a skill from my dad. For the skin, I did E00, 11, and 13. For the hair, I used 
I believe E51, 55, and 57, all of the, the exact marker numbers will be listed down below in the description as well as on my blog in case you ever want to know. I'm using some yellow reds for her hard hat here. Um, so I think my dad is going to appreciate this card. I know what I'm going to write in it and everything. I love that I already have my dad's Father's Day card made and maybe some of you feel the same. This can also work for other occasions. There are other greetings in here other than Father's Day. Uh, the birthday crew has arrived. This would make a darling birthday card. I love that this life we're building. I think that would be a great uh, card for a couple, an anniversary, something like that. Um, and then of course, if you just want to use the greeting, thank you for understanding I'm a work in progress. Um, that's just a thank you card or you know, whatever you need it to be. I used it along with the Father's Day greeting for my card today, but it definitely doesn't have to be just a Father's Day card. I think she's just darling. I love, love, love this image. Couldn't love it more. And so it was really, really fun to uh, work with this. So I am coloring, I colored in her hard hat with some yellow red markers, her drill and some of the tools I chose to do just straight yellow. So it's going to be a little bit brighter and then some cool grays along with that. Her jeans are some great blue colors, some deep dark blue. Um, I thought they were jeans and then I realized they're overalls, which is super cute. It is kind of a tiny image, so I recommend working in t small sections because that way you can see where you need to go next. So I did her shirt in red. That provides a beautiful pop of color. There's a lot of neutrals here. Um, the blue and the red are really um, our only big color. I guess the yellow is as well, but it's all pretty small areas. I love that she has a tool belt. I accidentally started coloring it blue. Um, but I'm going to go over that with some brown colors and we'll just add that all in. That was a little too light and a little too close to the hair. So I'm going to go back over that. Um, just keep working with it until you get it the way you want. I am taking a white pen and adding highlights. I started to add them before I finished coloring mostly because I was trying to figure out what I want to do for the boots and what I want to do for her little tool caddy there and the rest of her tool belt. I went in with those yellow markers for the rest of the tools. Browns for the tool belt itself. And then for her actual little tool caddy, we're going to use some warm gray markers in very light colors and then yellow and things like that for the rest of those tools. And then I chose a completely different brown. This is E84 and 87. It's a color combo that I've been using quite a lot. I like it. It does provide a different color uh, for her work boots. And then uh, the color I used for the soles of the boots wasn't dark enough, so I am gonna go back with E49 and color over that. Add some little scuffs or highlights to the toes of her boots. And then the die for this is fantastic. I love that it die cuts that little section where uh, her pigtail is away from her shoulder. I think it makes the die look a lot better. So I will be die cutting this as soon as I've colored everything in, added all of my little highlights and whatnot. I like being able to spritz, like ink, and spritz my background so it's completely drying. Look at all those markers I used for this image. Kind of crazy, it's such a small image and I used so many markers. Here is that die I was talking about. We'll just tape it in place. I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. I got new cutting plates for my Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine. I could not be any happier. I, it was very, very much needed. And now that we have our girl die cut, I am going to take a black jelly roll pin and add detail to her eyes. And I am going to set her aside 
and we're going to grab our background and we're going to stamp over this distressed background leaving the mask in place so that the stamping only goes in that rectangular shape using the new background stamp this is called father figures background you guys know that i am a huge fan of text background stamps i'm going to use gathered twigs to stamp this in retrospect i think second generation may have been better although it didn't end up to be near as dark as i originally thought i thought i might have messed up my background so you can stamp it off once on scrap paper if you'd like and that's going to give you a little bit lighter effect but i do think that it kind of as it dried it lightened plus i am going to take a blending brush and go over the top of this so i'm going to leave my mask in place and i'm just going to take a microfiber cloth or a paper towel and wipe away some of that ink it doesn't have to be completely clean i just don't want to pick up any of that ink and i'm going to take my blending brush without adding any additional ink to it and i just kind of went around the edges to hopefully soften it a bit but like I said, I do think it fades a little as it dries and I ended up totally loving it. I love a text background. Any kind of text background is always my favorite and a go-to and I love how it just pertains to the Father's Day card that we're creating. You can also see now that I have got greetings from the work in progress and we also have some uh, dies this is the modern serif alphabet you guys i couldn't love it anymore i love this font i'm so excited i want to create custom greetings for every card it's the perfect size you're going to see this die alphabet set make an appearance all the time because i love it that that much i think you guys will too um, i die cut each letter uh, three times, which means I had to die cut the D six times so that I could spell out dad. I'm just doing a short uh, greeting here. I inked it up with ground espresso and black soot, spritzed it very, very lightly with water from a distress sprayer, and then I'm going to glue my letters one on top of another to build my greeting. Lots and lots of neutrals, lots of brown here, like I said, but that's just really, for me, this felt like the right theme. But of course, you know me, I'm going to add uh, my, my touches to it. So there's going to be some fun embellishing and things to add a little color. Once we have our alphabets all glued together, I am using a little liquid glue to do this. So each letter is three layers, two white layers and one ink blended layer. I'm going to stamp those sentiments from work in progress on some brown cardstock. This is the ground coffee cardstock from Lawn Fawn. I had to look. We've got ground espresso, we have gr <laughs> ground coffee. Sometimes the names of things run together, so I want to make sure I'm telling you right, but I have linked to, to these down below. I just used some scraps of that cardstock to stamp my two phrases with clear embossing and watermark ink. I'll heat emboss with white embossing powder, and then I'm going to die cut each of my phrases with a sentiment label die from Simon Says Stamp, my other big go-to. I love these dies so very much. You can use a paper trimmer if you don't have any sentiment labels dies as well. Once I have die cut these, it's time to kind of put it all together. We have our background, we have our image, and we have all of our sentiments ready to go. And what is going to add interest to the finished look is the embellishments we add to our card. So I am generally a little bit more of a colorful crafter. I'm using air quotes, you can't see me. Um, and so a lot of brown like this is not my gen you know, my general go-to. So I like to find ways to add interest and make it a little bit more me. To do that, I'm going to add some red hearts. I'm going to also use some pretty pink posh gold pearls, metallic gold pearls, um, as nails, like the little nail heads to kind of make it look like I'm nailing my die cut letters to my card. And I'm also going to take some very thin um, yellow string that I've had. I've had it forever. You can see it here on my table. Um, 
I don't have a source for it. I know I'm probably going to get asked. I'm sorry. I, I've had it for so very long. I bet you I've had this since I want to say 2005 or 2006. It's literally been forever, you guys. Um, it's one of the only things I've held on to because it's so very thin, but you can use anything. Um, I want to use it kind of as a power cord to my drill. Now, I, most of us probably have drills that are battery operated. I know I do, but I wanted to find a way to incorporate a little bit more embellishment into my card. And I thought making it look like a power cord underneath some of the sentiment would be really, really cute. So I did put foam adhesive underneath that larger sentiment, but I think I'm gonna have to, I haven't pressed it down really good yet. I'm gonna have to pop it up a little bit uh, or pull it up a little bit, I guess I should say, so that I can put the string underneath. And then I am going to secure the end of the string underneath the foam adhesive on the back of the girl. So it looks like it's coming out of the drill and then we'll lay it down. So right now that's what I'm doing. I know I'm off camera, I was fiddling with it. And then I just naturally wanna kind of follow the curve of my twine. So very carefully, very carefully, I'm gonna peel that up. I am gonna remove the backing paper from my girl and just pop her in place right here. Kind of standing at the bottom of our masked rectangle. I like that part of her hat and the tip of her pigtail go outside of the rectangle. It definitely adds a little more interest. Another thing about the masking stencils, which I know I've used a ton here on my channel, I love them because you don't have to add an extra layer of cardstock to your card. It looks like it's matted, but it isn't. And it's one of my very, very favorite go-tos. I'm gonna fiddle and play around with the second greeting, the Happy Father's Day. You could add this on the inside of the card. There were so many good products in this May release that I'm actually going to use a different sentiment inside my card. And we are going to finish this entire set with an envelope. So I'm keeping with my my personal goal of stamping inside of my card and adding or creating a coordinating envelope for my cards when at all possible. And they're generally something super, super simple, but I'm trying to keep it in the video so it inspires you guys to do the same. After I get my little cord the way I want, string, uh, I'm going to snip that off and then we're going to glue our alphabet down. Tweezers I think are gonna come in handy. I am gonna go ahead and pop a little red heart here. This is a Trinity Stamps Crafty Love Embellishment Mix. It's my go-to. I have bought probably three or four of these embellishment mixes. I love them. There's some bigger hearts. This is my favorite kind of standard go-to heart here. And then I'm going to just simply pop my letters right above my greeting. I really, really love these dies. And because I've stacked three layers of cardstock, it gives you a little bit more of a chipboard type of texture and look. So they have a little more substance to them. And I really like that. Once we have that, we are going to take our little Simon Says Stamp Triangle Tray sprinkle out some of our metallic gold pretty pink posh pearls and I'm using the very smallest ones and an embellishment wand to pick them up and I am placing two on each letter along the right side to look like we have nailed up these letters like on a wall or whatever. I like how they look like little nail heads and it adds a little bit more embellishment to our card. I couldn't quite figure out the A, but I decided to go with the same look as the letter D's and I'm really glad I did because I think it looks fantastic. Now we do wanna add a couple more red hearts up above the dad that's going to pull a little more red into the left side of our card as well as just balance it all out very nicely. So I put all of my pearls back in my container and now I dumped out my hearts into my little triangle tray 
I love these triangle traits so, so much. Um, you probably see me use them a lot in my videos. They make placing your embellishments back in whatever storage you use a snap. So very fun. Okay, there is the front of our panel. It is all finished. I absolutely love it so much. I think my dad is going to love this. He does not watch my channel, so he shouldn't know that I've made this. At least I don't think he has. I don't think my dad has watched YouTube ever. <laughs> um, I am going to take a sentiment now from this is called the Everyday Scripted Greetings. This is another fantastic sentiment set that I could see myself using all the time. I love the font and I stamped Love You Lots with the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink in Mocha inside of my side fold card base. Then I'm going to take a white envelope from Simon Says Stamp and taking my image from Work in Process progress, the same little girl image, we're going to position her along the right side of the envelope and stamp her with the same mocha ink. So it's just going to be a little outline image, but I love how it looks like she's going to be framing up when I handwrite my dad's address on my envelope. Um, I just think it's going to look amazing. I flip the envelope over and I'm going to also take my happy Father's Day greeting again and stamp it on the back flap. This took literally no time at all, and I have a super cute custom envelope that perfectly matches my card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Distress Oxide background Father's Day uh, card with matching envelope created with brand new My Favorite Things May 2022 release products. The supplies I used to create my card and envelope are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to have you over there in our community. I provide an exclusive live for my top tier every month. Everyone in my Patreon gets a birthday card from me during their birthday month. Um, there's early access videos and all kinds of great things. So please join us over there if you would like to. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate you all so very much, and we'll see you next time.